Hi everybody, it's Mikey Bushro here. I created a new effect called Better Light Rays. I'm putting this on my website so you can go ahead and download it. I've also included an installer so it's very easy to install. Just download it, unzip the file if it doesn't do it automatically for you. Open up the effect that says Better Light Rays and click the install button. Once you open up Final Cut Pro 10, it'll be there. Now this was created with the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5. So you do need to make sure that your version of Final Cut Pro is 10.0.6 or later, otherwise this effect will not work. So let's take a look at better light rays. I have three clips here on my timeline. Some clouds, some water with some clouds, just some water, and I even have uh, my pixel grid generator that I've created before, and you can already see my better light rays affecting it. Now, let's talk about what better light rays does. In motion, you have the light rays effect under your filters. Now I'm including the light rays also, uh, which is pretty straightforward. You know, this is what light rays looks like. You have this on screen control where you can move the amount of your rays that come out. You have an amount slider, you know how far that goes. Uh, you have glow and you have a mix so you can kind of combine those two. And that's it. Those are all the sliders you get with this light rays effect that's built in motion. Now I very rarely ever use this. Now this one actually works pretty well on just plain text. But better light rays is me actually taking the time to kind of add some tweaks to the light rays filter. So let's apply better light rays on the same clip. Now the first thing you'll notice with better light rays is I have many more on screen controls. Zoom this out just a bit so you guys can see. I actually have five on screen controls. The center one does the same thing as your ray center point. If you look at my controls in my inspector over here, you'll notice as I move these around that center point on my on-screen control is moving around also. These other four controls are a mask. Now I can actually come in here and cut off what the ray is affecting. Now people are saying, well I don't want to just clip it. Well the ray is actually not clipped, it's just what's being affected is being clipped. So you can see this here. Now I'm going to reset this real quick and we'll talk about that in a little bit more in just a second. So what makes this better light rays? Well, the reason this is better light rays is I have this included mask here. If you go view mask, I have a threshold slider here which allows you to decide if I go to zero, it's the same as the full light rays filter. It's going to apply to the whole thing. Uh, but as I slowly creep in right, you'll notice I'm starting to go ahead and limit what's being affected. I can also do smoothness out of that mask so it's not quite as harsh. And then I have a four point mask applied or four point garbage mat applied to this filter itself. This is where if I wanted to go ahead and cut this right here, you can actually see on my mask what's being cut right there. Now this smoothness, this threshold smoothness actually adds more back in, but what if I don't want these harsh edges here? Well, this is where this blur mask option comes in, where I can go in and not add more to that area, but actually go ahead and just blur the amount on there. And I can even crank that way up if I wanted. I even have the option to just blur vertical or horizontal if I wanted, which creates some cool looks. All right, let's go ahead and turn off my view mask. So now when you look at this, this is the new light rays, which tends to give you a little bit more of a glow kind of a heavenly look out of my clouds here. All right, let's continue to look at a few more of these options here. So I've looked at these. I also have this colorize rays option. Now, when I colorize the rays, this is important to understand the way glow works. I'm going to turn glow all the way off. Uh, when you notice that it actually takes away color, it's darkening. So you really want to have glow at one if you don't want to add any glow. So when I go to colorize rays, you'll notice not too much happens here. Now if I go crank this up towards red, uh, you'll notice the remap white, all those colors have gone to the color I choose. Now I'm going to choose kind of a bright yellow here, or a heavenly yellow if you will, golden. And black, you know, if I go and do this, you know, it's going to tint the darkened part of this and maybe kind of go to an orange if you will. But what if I really want to bump up that glow? You know, I really want to have some glow kind of eat into it. Well, what happened to my colorize. Well what happens is the remap here, it's the opposite. 
because of the way the glow affects. So if I'm here on orange, it's going to affect the opposite of my color wheel. So if I go towards you blue, I'm going to get that kind of gold and orange that I want. So I'm going to come in right over here and give myself a nice bright, bright yellow, kind of heavenly yellow. And sure enough, now on this clip, I've added some golden light rays here. Again, I can turn these on individually, you know, blur that mask not so it's not as soft. Uh, I can go ahead and, you know, view my mask and bring these back out so it's applied to the whole image if I want. Turn off my mask. Let's turn on those colorized rays again. There we go. I can animate the center point so the rays move from left to right over time if I want. Turn off my colorize. Um, I can do a lot of different things. I can change the ray amount, you know, how far does it go. I can change that glow, you know, so it's really glowing or not. Um, so I have a lot of control over this. Let's take a look at this next clip here. This clip here is some water kind of bouncing back and forth. If I take the better light rays, apply it to it. One of the really cool things that you can do is you can really limit this effect. So the first thing I'm going to do before I make any adjustments to the ray is go ahead and turn on my mask and I'm going to crank up the threshold so it's much smaller. There we go. So I've just a little bit here. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in my four points to kind of be more around the center of my image. Yeah, so right there. Bring these in a little bit more. Okay. Now I don't like this being a straight line, so I can go ahead and do mask feather on these. So I get a nice soft one, and I can even do mask roundness, which is going to give me kind of a vignette effect on what's being accepted here. So now when I turn this off, I'm getting these light particles coming up from just the brightest parts of my image in the center. So I get kind of a, almost if this was like a diamond or something, you know, some light water, maybe that's the magic potion inside here, who knows. Um, of course I can animate, you know, these lights coming from whichever direction. But you know what, I want to go ahead and give this a nice color too. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself some colorized rays. And let's go ahead and really crank the glow up a little bit. There we go. And actually I like those golden lights already. Let's go ahead and increase the ray amount so they come out a little bit further. There we go. And let's watch it. So now I have a sparkle of gold inside my water here. So better light rays gives you a lot of control over the light rays effect that you have in motion. You also get the classic light rays from motion if you don't have it already. Uh, so you can use it in Final Cut Pro. As well as the ability to add masks and really control what you have here. Now, one of the really fun things I have here is uh, I have my Pixel Grid plugin. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my light rays here. My better light rays. And I'm going to show it to you guys. You know, This is my Pixel Grid plugin that I've created at one point in time. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And I can go ahead and do the Made by Mikey effects. And here's just classic light rays. And this is kind of what it looks like with classic light rays. You know, every single thing is, you get kind of a distortion uh, from where the rays are coming from. Uh, it kind of amps this up a little bit. You know, I can go ahead and adjust the generator here. You know, add some more pixels or less pixels. Scale them up so they're not as big. But you'll notice you know it's not really uh, that impressive you know everything is being that distorted and that's just what you get with that light rays again this one's gonna be great for text if you really want to play with it but you'll notice everything is being affected under better light rays I can actually go to my mask and see you know right here with my threshold you know how much Am I affecting the whole image or just the pixels that are on screen as they come? So I'm going to go ahead and just affect those pixels as they come. I can even, if I want to, blur the mask to kind of create uh, kind of a unique look here uh, out of these. Maybe do something like that and we'll just say, let's blur horizontal only and just kind of see what we can come up with there. So I'll turn off that, turn off my view mask and now I get some, kind of some nice lights coming out of these squares here turning on and off and of course I can remap the ray color if I want but I like the ray color being whatever color here I can change the pixel color to be something different if I want I can go ahead and change the background color to be something different if I wanted it to be there we go 
and so here's my light rays in conjunction with pixel grid both pixel grid better light rays and classic light rays are available for free on my website you guys have a great day